This little baby bunny isn't going to stay calm for very long, so we're going to get as much of a shot of him or her. Is it a her or is it him? Too young to tell, okay. actually. Yeah. Uh, this is Risa, and we are at the Wildlife Haven Rehabilitation Center, and this little baby bunny was brought here because, of course, it is springtime, and this is when little animals are going to be cr popping up all over the place, and uh, you had these guys brought to you. We did, yeah. It's actually a little bit too common that we have people bringing us bunnies, and a lot of times they are what we call unnecessary orphans so if you come across a nest of bunnies please phone us for advice and in the meantime just leave them alone so uh, the fact th these guys I guess are pretty jumpy and they're a little mm -hmm. too scared uh, yeah. whereas there's some other older bunnies that uh, you have in another spot that we can show some footage of those guys are a little bit more uh, I guess willing to play and, and kind of ready to go, right? Yeah, yeah, they're definitely a lot more independent. They're older. Um, they're at a stage where they're they're a bit bigger than this. Um, these guys are pretty close to being ready to be released, but uh, probably be another week or so. Those guys, we say when they're about the size of a softball, if they're super furry and fluffy, they're jumping, they're hopping, their ears are pointing forwards, that is a rabbit that's independent and it's on its own. The thing that happens a lot is it still looks like a baby. It looks very much like a baby rabbit, so someone will see it and they think, oh, this, this is what happened, this bunny, I need to save it, and they take it, but really that's just part of its life cycle is that it grows up and it leaves the nest and becomes independent. Now, part of the problem, of course, is at this time of year, um, there's a lot more bunnies out and little babies because it's springtime and this is what happens with animals and people, kind of. <laughs> um, but the fact is the mom does actually come back twice a day. People mistake that, though, thinking the mom's not around and these guys have been abandoned and that they need help. Yes, all the time. Right. Yeah, so that's why we really want people to phone us first so we can give you some advice. Um, you're not going to see the mom. It's very unlikely you're going to see her she doesn't want to attract any attention to her babies because if she draws attention to them then that means predators are going to know that they're there and they're going to eat them. Um, they have no smell. They don't even smell to her so she finds the nest kind of with like a little built-in GPS so she knows exactly where the nest is even though she can't smell her babies um, and you'll see that if you try to put some string in a tic-tac-toe pattern around the perimeter of the nest and you wait for 24 hours, more often than not, when you check again, the string is going to be disturbed from her coming and feeding her babies and leaving. You're not going to be so cute, sorry. <laughs> That's the most adorable thing. Um, so anyway, if it's been disturbed, then you know the mom is around. Exactly, yeah, and we really want people to do that before taking the babies. They're super high stress animals. I mean, this one is kind of putting on a bit of a good show right now, but he's not, you know, He's not calm like a pet rabbit, you know, he's stressed out and and we just, because they're so difficult to raise and we get so many, the more resources we can put into helping animals that actually need it, then, you know, that's sort of more what we're wanting to do. Whereas if we can leave things in the wild where they belong, it's just better for them, it's better for us. Well, and just to clarify in case, because we didn't mention it off the top, what you do here is mm -hmm. rehabilitate wildlife. Yeah. The name is sort of implied in the, the name of the center. Yeah. Um, but why do you do that? Why does this organization exist? And I know I was asking you off camera, for example, there's a lot of bunnies out there mm -hmm. and, and baby squirrels. And yeah. you showed us, you fed a squirrel a little bit earlier and super adorable, but there's squirrels everywhere. So why, why are these animals being saved and rehabilitated to be released when there are so many? Rabbits and squirrels are prey animals. So in the food chain, everything's got to eat something. You know, these guys eat grass, but things eat them. So people complain because there's too many bunnies or there's too many squirrels or what have you. But then they love, say, the great horned owl that's nesting in their tree or the hawks that they see. But if there was no bunnies and if there was no squirrels, then what would they be eating? Right, so I mean, everything in nature has to stay in balance, and we need to keep the food chain going. With you know, starting at the bottom with the prey species. Tell us about the little squirrel and and how you guys found him. And I mean, that's possibly the cutest thing I've ever seen in my life, feeding this little guy. Tell us about him. So little squirrels are very cute. Um, we do see quite a few, probably about a hundred or so every year. We see red squirrels and gray squirrels. Um, 
the little red squirrel that we have now was caught by somebody's cat. Um, we try to get people to keep their cats inside for that reason, um, but I mean it's kind of a, it's difficult sometimes, and it just it does happen. So we say that anything that's been caught by a cat needs to come to our center. Um, they need to be put on antibiotics because cat saliva is really high and some really nasty bacteria that can it, it ends up killing a lot of things. Um, so the little squirrel he had some scratches on his belly and and he was too young to be on his own. His eyes weren't even open yet so it came in here and um, we'll have it for quite a while um, squirrels are definitely slower to mature than bunnies like bunnies will be gone from their nest by 26 days of age but the squirrel will take you know a couple of months okay. in captivity anyway so squirrels bunnies there's birds here what other kind of animals are on site and and what all gets rehabilitated here I would imagine it's pretty wide range He's we, biting you. <laughs> we can put him back in his cage. I know you. She warned us before we started this interview that these bunnies wouldn't be calm. And of course, he has, you know, made us look silly by being calm, but not calm enough to not start biting you. So we'll let him go back in his cage. Yeah. Uh, who? So what other kind of animals are, are here on site? Um, right now we have. Sorry, we've got some owls um, that live here permanently. We have our education birds, hawks, um, a kestrel. But as far as rehabilitation patients, we have some eagles, some bald eagles. We have a uh, Swainson's hawk. We just released a snowy owl last weekend. Actually, that was really, really great release. Um, some woodpeckers. So this, again, along with the baby animals come the birds that are migrating back and they're flying into windows. So we get a lot of people calling because birds hit their window and they think it has a broken wing. Um, if that ever happens, we want you to put the bird in a box for about an hour, put it in a dark, quiet location, then take it outside, open the box, and if the bird flies away, then that's fantastic. About half the time they do, and if not, then there's more serious injuries and they need to come here. So it seems, for whatever reason, woodpeckers all the time are flying into windows. So we see a lot of woodpeckers here too. All right. Well. We could talk for hours, I'm yes. sure, about yeah. all of the animals and all the great work that you guys do here. Uh, but uh, right now, if people are looking, if they've got some of these animals, if they've got questions, mm -hmm. they don't know what to do, they want to make sure they do the right thing, they should get in touch with you. Definitely. How can they do that? Well, you can phone me. It's 878-3740. Okay. Um, you can also go to our website, which is wildlifehaven.ca. Um, and on our website, one of the features we have is basically what to do if you found wildlife. So if you're unable to call us or if you're just looking around on the internet for information, there is like drop down menus says I have found this and sort of what to do. Yeah. Excellent. Perfect yeah. resource. So thank you so much for this and thank yeah. you for showing us adorable little animals. Yeah. This is just a good day. Thank you. Yeah, no problem.